Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Pinky. We're going to be looking into the monthly reading for the sign of Gemini. How are you doing Gemini? Hope you guys are doing amazing. If you guys are interested in personal consultations, healings, or spell work, hit the description box below. You'll be able to find our online store. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what you can expect for this month of October 2022. Are you guys as excited as I am for this month? This is my favorite time of the year. So we are definitely very, very excited of the happenings that are going to be unfolding for our celebrations on this side. If you guys celebrate, definitely comment below. Let me know what your traditions are. What is it that you guys uh, do or if, in fact, you even celebrate Hallow's Eve. All right, let's get into it. Spirit gets ancestors and archangels. What are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give us four cards that represent the element of Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, here we go. Element of Earth, we have the Six of Wands. So this is definitely a tension. You're standing out at work. People are taking notice. You're taking the initiative, being a little bit more progressive, being a little bit more dominant in what you're doing. If you haven't up until now been experiencing a burst of confidence, you're definitely going to be experiencing that. And again, make the best of it because you are definitely being very well received. Um, this is the potential to be able to go up the ladder to get a higher position or higher ranking position or an incentive or getting a raise. There is definitely a feeling of celebratory type of energy and it's almost feeling like it's finally happening for some of you guys. You guys have been struggling, perhaps maybe um, going up the ladder or perhaps making more money. That's definitely coming through for you guys for this month of October. Now, with the element of air here, communications, we have the Knight of Wands. So you may be communicating or dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries. And there is definitely communication that's opening up, especially for those of you guys that there was a bit of feeling of stagnation. Perhaps you were hoping or wanting to hear from someone. The communication finally opens up this month for you guys. Now, the challenge here is the Knight of Pentacles. So out of all the Knights, the Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is the one that takes its sweet ass time. Why? Because they're very methodical. They want things to happen and they are very assertive in making sure that it happens the way it's supposed to. So what they're telling you here for the challenge of this month, it's going to be very important for you to be very methodical, Gemini. Uh, this is making sure that you're getting to work on time, that you're not missing that you are perhaps doing a little bit more than what is expected of you. I promise you guys that if you do this, you're definitely going to come out on top by the end of this month. Because the challenge here is to be uh, more taking on more responsibility. But in doing that, you're also showing your superiors or people around you, or even co-workers, almost inspiring them to want to step up as well. Um, but this is a good thing because they're seeing a leader role position for you. So definitely take advantage of that, Gemini. Now, in regards to the water element here, we have the Queen of Wands. So fire energy is definitely something you're going to be dealing with for this month. I do want to mention... Um, if you are currently dealing with a fire energy in regards to love, partnerships, or relationships, Queen of Wands could represent a person that may be a bit stubborn, uh, someone that is used to making things their way or making um, basically what they say goes. And there is a challenge here. And what they're telling you here is be confident in yourself, Gemini. Don't allow people to step on you or to walk all over you. Um, even if you love them, even if you care for them, even if this is your partner or the person you've been married to for I don't know how long, um, whatever the situation is, what they're telling you here is don't give your power away. Stay in your power. Be confident in yourself. And of course, when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, it's about collaboration. It's about meeting each other halfway. But if you have a tendency of being the one to go above and beyond for this person and they're being stubborn and they're being stuck on it's my way or the highway, then show them the fucking highway. 
only in doing this are they going to be able to see you in a different light or respect you and know that you're not someone to be trifled with okay now let's see what spirit's final message is here for you gemini sun moon rising and venus for this month of october 2022 what is the final message that you have here for gemini's sun moon rising and venus all right here we go we have broken heart so again i feel like the the moment i pulled out the queen of uh of wands it was almost like this this energy of going through something in a partnership or relationship where the person or the person that you are dealing with or have been dealing with has a habit of wanting control and wanting to be in control but keep in mind your position is the six of wands so it, what they're saying is if you've been dealing with a situation partnership or relationship where you've submitted to them whether it was on a conscious or subconscious level you were trying to make it work or trying to fix it it's time you take your power back stop allowing them to walk all over you or stop allowing them to think that they have control over you and the only way to do that is to say what you're going to do. As an example, if you say you're going to do something, do it and go through with it. Don't backpedal or don't go back to, you know, meeting them halfway or whatnot. What they're telling you here is stick to your guns because you're the one that's in the right at this point in time and they need to humble their asses a little bit, a little bit. Um, but again, you don't want to give up your power because only in doing this, are they going to see that you're not someone to be trifled with, that yes, you're loving and caring, but at the same time, you love yourself more, that you're going to put your foot down when it's necessary. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys insight. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.